viewers to another episode on ASU G12 exams. So in this episode, we continue looking at the November 2022 Science Paper 1. In the previous episode, we looked at question e, B4. So in this episode, we focus on B5. Question B5 A reads, Infrared and the radio waves are components of electromagnetic spectrum. Loma number one, mention one use of each of infrared, radiation and the radio waves. So we have infrared and the radio waves. So um, the common use of uh, basically infrared is uh, used in uh, basically remote control. So used in remote control. So you know these are the common remotes that we use in our daily uh, life at home. We use uh, these remote for the TV, it could be for the sound system, so it's these remotes that we are talking about. Then uh, basically the other use that uh, you can think of is uh, it's used uh, basically in uh, security, used in security uh, systems so it detects uh, the movements. So it could be uh, the car, the alarm system, this is uh, what it is used uh, for. Then also uh, used thirdly in a thermal imaging. So these are basically cameras that are normally detect people in the dark. So in the dark, the, when it's very dark, uh, these cameras are able to detect uh, uh, the image it could be of a person, it could be of animals. So these are basically the application of infrared. Then uh, radio waves. So radio waves are basically used uh, for communication. So uh, used for communication. Okay, that's uh, the major use of uh, radio waves, such as uh, when you're broadcasting the TV radio and also transmission of satellites these are radio waves so also you can say are uh, used in transmission uh, satellites so it's these that are also used in uh, our cell phone for us to be able to talk to one another Loman numero 2 mention one common property of infrared and the radio waves. So infrared and the radio waves are all electromagnetic uh, waves. So as the case with all electromagnetic uh, waves, you notice that uh, basically these waves are all uh, basically transverse. They are all transverse waves. That's a common property, meaning uh, basically when they are moving, they move perpendicular, so the particles vibrate perpendicular to uh, the direction of um, propagation. That's uh, basically what it means. Then uh, secondly, in case of asked for two, they all can travel uh, through the vacuum. Okay. So you can choose any of these. If you ask for three, you can uh, basically say they all travel at the same speed, the same uh, speed, which is the speed of light, which is what's the speed? This speed is three multiplied by 10 to the power eight meters per second in the vacuum. So in the vacuum, they all travel at the same speed and that's in the speed. Uh, then, Loma numero 3, give one arm of effect of electromagnetic waves. One key arm of effect of electromagnetic wave is that waves like uh, ultraviolet, x-rays, and gamma rays, these are ionizing radiation. So, they are no electrons. So, these electrons are basically, they are can damage the cell. So they are basically ionizing process from 
these waves can read to mutations in cells leading to cancer if proper protections protection is not used so when you're handling this you really need to be careful otherwise they can lead to cancer so the cause mutations in the cell of uh, human beings then uh, lead to cancer let us look at question b give one difference in propagation between between sound waves and electromagnetic waves so basically uh, the difference in propagation which is the uh, travel or the direction in which uh, the wave is traveling the sound wave okay is a longitudinal wave while electromagnetic waves are basically transverse waves so basically um we are saying sound waves sound waves are longitudinal waves thus the vibrations occur parallel to the direction of the wave while in electromagnetic waves the vibration so vibrations occur perpendicular to the direction of propagation so what this tells you is uh, basically in transverse this is uh, basically the vibration so the vibration is you see perpendicular to the uh, direction of the wave then in a uh, longitudinal uh, basically you have this uh, the affection so you have backward and a fourth a uh, vibration in the direction of the wave that's uh, the difference we are referring to then our uh, question c mention one factor that affects the loudness of sound so basically the loudness of sound is affected by uh, basically the amplitude that's what affecting the loudness of a uh, sound so the higher the amplitude the louder is the sound the higher the higher or the large the amplitude the louder is the sound that's it basically what you need to know so meaning if the amplitude is smaller the loudness will be low that's it, the implication question d Elena sees a flash of lightning and hears the thunder after 4.5 seconds. How far is the lightning from the Lena? Take speed of sound in here to be uh, basically 340 meters per second. So basically the question is how far is the Lena? So we have to find the distance. Then we are given this to be speed and we're also given the time. So how do we find speed? So speed is given by distance over time. So we know speed is a basically 340 meters per second. What's the time? Time is basically 4.5 seconds. So we are looking for D. So to find D, we just make a D the subject of formula by crossing multiply. So we are saying uh, S multiplied by T is equal to distance. So therefore distance is equal to S multiplied by T. So I've just swap this one, this comes this one, come this side. Then uh, based on that we know that a distance is equal to uh, 340 meters per second then multiply by uh, 4.5 uh, seconds. Then you notice that uh, this S and this S cancels 
then what we do is 340 multiplied by uh, 4.5 we are going to end up with here basically 1530 meters as in our answer so 1530 meters Thank you viewers for watching uh, this uh, episode. If you find this video to be helpful, please uh, consider liking and also if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. By liking, subscribing and sharing, you are going to help us improve our visibility. A simple like from you makes a big difference. So once you subscribe to our channel and go to our channel, we discover that we've got uh, so much content. So we've got here uh, mathematics uh, based uh, revision questions, we've got uh, physics, we've got uh, chemistry, then we've got also topic based uh, section for all the subjects. And this is uh, the best uh, section for you if you're having any challenges in uh, any particular topic.